This is the Lock Picking Lawyer, and the lock I have for you today is the Yale Model 22152. Now, I have to admit, when I bought this lock, I didn't know a lot about it. I mostly bought it because it's a really cool looking padlock. I mean, look at this thing. It's like the Darth Vader of padlocks. <laughs> but the more I learned about it, the less I liked it. Let's start with the fact that it's sold as a 52 millimeter padlock, which is true if you count the rubber, which no one does other than Yale apparently. If you take the rubber off, you can see that we've got a 40 millimeter padlock underneath. Not just 40 millimeters, but one that is missing four of the eight rivets. Now, why is it missing those rivets? Because they use those holes to screw the shackle guard on. No word why they didn't just rivet right through the shackle guard as they do on this Stanley lock, but they decided to use a construction method that would make it weaker. Speaking of weaker, the materials. This shackle guard, not steel like it is on this Stanley, but aluminum, which it still helps for cutting attacks, but certainly not for sawing attacks. Then we get to what looks like a nice beefy shackle, and you can see it's all rubber. That is a six millimeter shackle underneath. So, a lot of disappointments when I examine this lock. Let's see how it does with pick resistance. We've got a very paracentric little Yale style keyway using a Peterson flat five and my number seven hook in 15 thousandths. Okay, click out a one, click out a two, bit of a false set. Counter rotation got three set, counter rotation got four set, and counter rotation got five set. Okay, so at least three, probably four spools in there. So not too bad. Um, now there is one other thing that I discovered by accident. You can actually open this only picking three pins. And I did that by, uh, where is it? Here, number two, number three, and come on, five, number five. Why is that? Well, apparently the driver pins are too short because on number one and four, right there and there, on those really high set, high set pins, they turn without touching. <laughs> So that probably means that the driver pin is flush with the outside of the core. So driver pins are too short, essentially. In any case, I've humiliated this lock enough. Really, really cool looking. I like seeing shackle guards, but this lock is not worth the money. Speaking of which, it's over $30. It's about double, almost exactly double what you would pay for this, which is a much, much better padlock. In any case, that's all I've got for you on the Yale 22152. If you have any questions or comments, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.